Hey guys, welcome back to another review and this is something uh, I have not done before. I usually do tests for you guys on iPhones and iPads, but this time I decided to do a test on the MacBooks. Now this is the 2019 MacBook Pro 13 inch base model 256 and this is the newly released 16 inch MacBook base model as well 2019. Um, now this test is to break down all the myths of if you can run and edit videos on devices so for this purpose of the video we're gonna install DaVinci Resolve 16 on both these machines and we're going to try to edit 6k footage and 4k footage now this both will handle 1080p HD videos no problem 2k this does it as well the thing that I want to find out is if they both can handle 6k on DaVinci Resolve or not and see mainly if the 13 inch could handle it so without further ado let's get started Alright guys, so I am on the MacBook 13 inch right now. I'm going to launch DaVinci Resolve. And as you guys could see, it doesn't actually take that long for it to launch up. I didn't really notice main difference between the 16 inch and the 13 inch in terms of uh, churning on the uh, application and running the program. Uh, but this is going to be just an untitled project. We're going to import the files from the T5 drive. Very simple. You go to files and you import it. There they are. And then I'm just going to drag them over to DaVinci and close the T5. Now this is going to be the 4K. And as you guys could see, 4K is running perfectly. There is no lag at all. No frame drops. Just nice and easy now this is the 6k so as you guys could see MacBook 13 inch cannot run 6k can't even like watch the 6k footage it's very jittery now let me see yep try to play it again 4K footage, ProRes, high quality, runs poof, uh, perfectly. Uh, let's see in the timeline. I'm curious how it will look in the timeline. Uh, yeah. What if I drag the 4K footage with the 6K footage? I wonder if it will lag as well. And it, uh, my computer, the 13-inch MacBook, is actually making noise. Like, it's turbo boosting the processor right now. So it is running it, but it's uh, having a hard time reading the 6K files. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. That is uh, a no-go for uh, the 13-inch MacBook. Now let's see the file sizes of the 4K high quality and the Blackmagic RAW. So as you guys could see, Blackmagic RAW is 2.55 gigabytes for a five second clip now think about that five seconds 2.55 gigabytes and as you guys could see it only opens with black magic raw player or any supported uh, player now the 4k uh, high quality is 1.2 gigabytes so half that size, and it opens with QuickTime. All right, so now I'm on my 16-inch MacBook Pro, and I will launch DaVinci Resolve. And just time it visually how long it takes to launch the program. And like I said, launching program seems to be almost similar, maybe a little bit faster on a MacBook. Uh, 16 inch but anyway same thing we're gonna go import the files and uh, 
you go to your Samsung Mighty Samsung T5, import the three files, and there you go. Now, I know 13 inch plays 4K, so let's start with a 6K footage on this 16 inch MacBook. And wow, it actually plays smoothly, no frame drops. So, there you guys go. You must have a 16 inch MacBook or even a 15 inch MacBook um, or any MacBook that has a dedicated graphic card, not Intel graphics, but a dedicated graphic card in order to play 6K. Now, if you go to About Mac and look at the graphic cards here, you'll see two graphic cards here. One is the AMD one is, and the other one is Intel. And I will go in depth in my next video about what this means. All right, guys, so that was the review on which computer could handle the 6K footage and 4K footage. Now, if you're doing basic editing like 4K and uh, you're a regular consumer, 13 inch is the way to go in my opinion. You don't gotta get that almost a thousand dollar different upgrade for the 16 inch. Now if you are editing 6K, this handled it perfectly. Even with the four gigabytes of the graphic um, memory, the base model, 6K was done perfectly. 6K did lag on the 13 inch, but I mean, everyone expected 1.4 gigahertz and Intel graphics. But I mean, if you're doing 4K, this is the way to go. Um, stay tuned guys, because I will be doing a review on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 6K, an in-depth review of and going over the menu in Blackmagic, because the menu is very complicated. Thank you guys for watching again, and I will see you next time.